Desperate dogs, two steps from death. Please help us stop the cruelty. In a derelict gold mining area in South Africa, dogs are leading lives of total misery. The area has been taken over by armed criminals who've made it a center of illegal gold mining operations. Street dogs scavenge for food and run a daily risk of poisoning. The community-led animal welfare, or CLAW, is the only small organization that dares to work in this dangerous, gangster-ridden place. Even though it's an extremely dangerous area, we responded immediately when we received a call for help. There were so many victims of torture, neglect, starvation, abuse, and poisoning. Rats infest the area. The solution people find is to lace the area with a deadly substance called aldicarb. Once ingested, rats take two steps and then die. It's lethal and often an underfed dog will scavenge on a rubbish site and ingest a poisoned rat or the poison itself. Around 97% of animals that consume aldicarb die. The animal's nervous system shuts down. It's paralyzed and then suffocates to death. Miss Wobbly survived because of the quick response from the team on the ground. But sadly, she was left with nerve damage. Miss Wobbly is now partially paralyzed but that hasn't stopped her from forming affectionate relationships with everyone she meets. In short, her capacity to love remains unchanged. Claw needs vitally important medicines to help stricken dogs recover. Dogs like Miss Wobbly, Abby, and so many others. Poor Abby is an amazingly brave girl. We don't know how long she'd managed to survive before we found her. But it must have been a very long time, because she was so desperately ill and almost completely covered in mange. Abby is one of many dogs up for adoption. She has a bigger purpose in life, to rescue a special human and give them all the love and healing they need. Network for Animals saw firsthand how great the need is and how truly dire the situation is. There are literally hundreds of cases like Scabby Abby in this area that need your help. So please, if you possibly can, donate generously to Network for Animals today.